Marty Pesetta had been doing the Oscars for many years. And Roy Christopher, um, the production designer on the Oscars, had be become very upset the year before with the way the staff lighting designer for ABC had illuminated his set. So he, um, he said he refused to do the show unless they would bring in an outside lighting designer. Now, I'd never worked with Roy, and, uh, and Marty could work with hardly any lighting designers. <laughs> and so Marty said, fine, we'll bring in Bob Dickinson. So I went in, and it was a miserable experience because the ABC staff hated me, and they felt they had been usurped by this kid. And, um, but I decided to take a big risk, and instead of lighting the Oscars, they had actually used like 1,800 lights to light the Oscars the year before. And I brought in like 175 moving lights and only 200 additional fixed lights. So it reduced the number of instrumentation significantly, um, depending on these moving lights. And so we brought them in and everyone is thrilled with them. I had decided to trust in this technology, and Bill Clay just had said, you know, Bob, there's a big opportunity for you to do the Oscars, something that Bill had dreamed of for years, but, you know, never been asked to do. And because it was the grandfather of all, all entertainment television shows. And so, uh, so it was like a big opportunity, it really was. But I went ahead and risked it anyway, and I put on these moving lights, and we rehearsed, 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 and just before broadcast, we had to take the console that operated the moving lights and put it in a different location. And so then we we're going to start dress rehearsal. And we start dress rehearsal, and all of the lights, they, 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 they're not working. They're just, they're just not getting any signal. And so they start dress rehearsal, and people are upset and yelling, and I don't know, we're working on it, it'll be okay, you know, it's like, ooh. And so about three quarters of the way through dress rehearsal, suddenly the lights would come to life and start taking their cues. And, but for about two hours, I saw my career just pass before my eyes. I just, <laughs> trying this new technology. And uh, it turned out there was a wire broken in a controlled piece of cable that was causing this. And they had to do some soldering and find it. And, but boy, for those two hours, and as you say, I uh, got the job, and I failed to mention to anyone that I'd never actually done a live broadcast, <laughs> that, that I'd never actually cued um, without us being able to stop and do it over again. And uh, <laughs> so it was, uh, was hair-raising. But I caught the bug, you know. The, there is something about a live show. There is an energy there. Um, it's... It's, there's a vitality to that environment that, that is really hard to explain, but you only get one chance at it. It's really high-risk television, and you only get one chance at it. If you do something right, then fantastic, but if you do something wrong, it's going to be wrong forever. <laughs> now, were you formulate, when, when, when the lights were not working, were you starting to formulate a backup plan? Yes, it was uh, about going to my car and getting in it and driving away because I, <laughs> there was no way to save the show without the moving lights. <laughs> oh, oh, I was foolhardy. But, uh, <laughs> well, but, what did you learn from that? I mean, did you, you know, for, for subsequent shows, did you now then have some kind of backup plan that if something didn't work that you'd be able to at least get through, through it in some way? Well, what, yes, I did start designing with... Um, with overlay of, of fixed equipment that could always, you know, rely on in some rudimentary fashion. But um, the, uh, yeah, but they, it, it, was, it was a good lesson. But the industry learned that this was a vital form of lighting, a viable form of lighting for, for this genre. And it did, right then, from that production on, it changed the way that um, live broadcast entertainment shows were done.